इस वक्त मैं साउथ ईस्ट बैंगलोर में हूँ और शोभा का प्रोजेक्ट है ये सेंटोसा के नाम से आई कैन सी लॉट्स ऑफ पिक्चर्स यू हैव पुट अक्रॉस एंड दे इज समथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू बिफोर नोइंग दी एंटायर प्रोजेक्ट आई वुड लाइक टू नो Uh, what is the significance of this location? Why you have picked this location for? Who are the home buyers in this particular project? Are they IT people or they are different uh, walks of life? How this project is different? How Santosa is different than any other projects? What is this this white patch in this entire layout plan? What I understand is if I am walking somewhere in Bangalore and yes. I, I got while coming back to home I got stuck in traffic yes. or I had a bad day in yes. office. Yes. As soon as I enter my society. So by when uh, or by which year do you think that the entire structure will be ready for this project i do not see any of the laborers not having a helmet hi is waqt main south east bangalore mein hu aur shobha ka project hai ye santosa ke naam se uske bahar khada hu main aaj aapko iske andar lekar chalunga is project ke bare mein puri detail mein janenge ki yahan pe kya kya features hain kya kya amenities honge aur ye jo pura project hai shobha santosa wo kaisa hoga kaisa dikhega jab ye ban kar ready ho jayega ये सब कुछ इस रिव्यू में देखेंगे वीडियो को एंड तक देखिएगा जहाँ पे मैं खड़ा हूँ इसी के पीछे शोभा सेंटोसा का साइट है और ठीक इसी के पीछे इंडिया का सबसे बड़ा प्रीकास्ट फैक्ट्री है जो कि शोभा का है मैं वो भी आपको घुमाऊँगा इस वीडियो में आपको वो भी देखने को मिलेगा और ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है ये शोभा का सेकेंड प्री प्रोजेक्ट है मतलब ये ऐसा प्रोजेक्ट है जहाँ पर सर ये स्लैब्स ये सब जो चीज़ें आप देखते हैं किसी प्रोजेक्ट को बनते हुए वो पहले से ही प्रीकास्टेड होंगे और उनको लाकर यहाँ पे फिट कर दिया जाएगा तो हम उसके बारे में भी जानेंगे इस वीडियो में आइए आपको अंदर लेकर चलता हूँ और शोभा की टीम से मिलवाता हूँ सो so, ये इनका मेन एंट्री गेट है हम यहाँ से अंदर चलते हैं और इनका जो एक्सपीरियंस सेंटर है शोभा सेंटोसा का वो अंदर है तो वहाँ पर चल के शोभा की टीम से मिलते हैं सो so, सामने अगर आप देखें तो ये इनका एक्सपीरियंस सेंटर है और मैं आपको अंदर चल नवीन जी से मिलवाता हूँ हाय नवीन जी हाउ ऑल गुड ऑल गुड हाउ यू आई एम डूइंग ग्रेट ग्रेट नवीन जी आई नो यू बट माय व्यूअर्स माइट नॉट नो सो आई वांट यू टू गिव अ स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योर सेल्फ हाउ यू एसोसिएटेड विद शोभा आई एम नवीन कुमार जिलादी आई एसोसिएट विद शोभा फॉर लास्ट टेन ईयर्स Uh, I've been working with Shobha such a long time, and then I work as a general manager. Okay. I look after all the ongoing projects of Shobha in Bangalore. Okay, great. Yeah. And great. today I am here. So you will be explaining about the entire project. What support I want from you? Let's not make this video a sales video. Sure. We'll make this video as informative as it can be. Sure. So that. any prospect buyer or any existing buyer would see and know all the details about the project which he may not have asked you plus we'll also show the construction update of each tower what is the construction stage at the moment and we'll also know the timelines from you sure for sure i can see lots of pictures you have put across and there is something which is related to singapore the yes. santosa name itself signifies singapore i've exactly. been there so i'm able to relate to it i can see couple of pictures मैं एक बार वीडियो में भी वो पिक्चर्स दिखाना चाहता हूँ जस्ट टेक यू थ्रू द पिक्चर्स ऑल राइट दिस इज अब हाउस ओके दिस इज द क्लब हाउस ऑल राइट इज हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी ओके ओके जस्ट अ क्लेम्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रंस प्ले एरिया ओके सो दिस साइड इज द चिल्ड्रंस प्ले एरिया प्ले एरिया राइट नेक्स्ट टू द क्लब हाउस ऑल राइट पूल इट्स लाइक मरलाइन statue pool okay have over here okay we just wanted to get the singapore theme based okay so, so entire project is uh, singapore theme based exactly entire project is singapore theme based and we just wanted to not only the name we just wanted to get all the amenities whatever we are talking about singapore okay we wanted to show it over here not only in terms of the elevation in terms of the amenities also we so want to what are these these are super trees okay you will see them in singapore right right next to the airport So, so these super trees would be here in this Santosa exactly. project also. Exactly. Okay, I'll I'll definitely I have questions yeah, now. Sure, sure. I'll ask you when we'll go through the yeah. uh, project so overview. The Shobha, as you are aware, uh, we are backward integrated. So right. the, some of the factories what we have, 
and Shobha Academy is uh, we have an academy over there okay. where people get trained all the laborers and all the engineers and they come to the site all right not only uh, engineers and even sales and marketing people as well okay and we have interior division concrete division and glazing metal division as well all right plus you have some mattress mattresses also right we do right? have uh, resto plus mattress Re division. resto plus so, resto plus okay yes. i can see couple of features here so, what are these so here we are giving uh, in our previous projects we could not give these amenities because we have taken a lot of feedback from existing customers we could able to come up with some innovative ideas so where we have first thing is centralized arbo system Okay. Clean water, pure saving. Okay. It's like in the kitchen, we are going to give centralized RO system, so where you can drink it from the tap itself in the kitchen. Okay. So say this is centralized RO uh, reverse osmosis system. We are going to give it. Okay. And here, the, to increase the groundwater table uh, throughout the project, we have water pits. Not only the rainwater harvesting, we don't collect the rainwater, and we let the water go into the, those pits. Okay. Then we let the groundwater table uh, rejuvenate. All right. Yes. And here the car charging panels. Now, as you know, that fifteen percent of cars in uh, in India okay. are electrical cars. But and by the time your project would be ready, there would be exactly. more number of cars. Exactly. That is why we are coming up with car charging panels in the okay. basements. So any individual who would want their personal reserve in the uh, these we car are panels. We planning. Then we have actually initiated uh, as common car charging panels. Okay. But we will be coming up with uh, individual car car charging. Panels so that well. that provision has already been done. Yes, we are going to do that for sure. Great, great. So load shedding synchronization is nothing bad. So and the uh, power backup comes in. So, okay. And uh, the if suppose in one particular tower there are thirty people. All right. And there are hundred apartments. Okay. Only thirty people are utilizing, and there only thirty people are staying. All right. And only one generator will get on, and then the power consumption for the common areas. All the right. The maintenance cost comes down drastically. All right. Yes. and we have organic based converter over here so it in the pro within the project itself and we are going to have uh, organic based converter we collect all the waste from all the apartments and okay. we have a, a technology that organic based converter happens within the project so that there is an additional income for the society okay okay so i can also see a couple of elevations picture there So yeah. these are actual pictures. Once the, this project is ready, these would be this the actual pictures. This is how pictures. we are gonna finish it. This is how the complete elevation. If you can see this with the uh, complete glass structures, all the right. windows, the balconies or the uh, windows. Okay. And this is we want to get this uh, structure. Uh, I think similar to Singapore structures. Okay. That is why we are coming up with this. So external facade would be yes. more or less like Singapore facade. Singapore facades with the complete glass. Okay. Kind of Great. And I can see. You allow more lux to the houses and a lot of broad windows. We are coming up. Okay. And with the glass structures, so that it will allow more lux to the all the rooms, living room and uh, all the bedrooms. All right. There is one more elevation which I can see here. So this is the entire project from the seventh wing, the from the entrance. If you see the project, okay. This is how it is going to be. This is the seventh wing, and we have the clubhouse. So and this clubhouse. one is the clubhouse. Here is the clubhouse. All right. What is the size of this clubhouse? Twenty-five thousand square feet clubhouse. We have okay. three plus two stories, with double height ceiling, and we have all the standard amenities in the clubhouse. I'll just take you through when I was when I am explaining the site plan. All right. So Navin, now you have opened the presentation in front of me, and I can see that Shobha Santosa is written here. Yes. Ah, uh, before knowing the entire project, I would like to know uh, what is the significance of this location. Why you have picked this location for? This particular project, which is known as the question, because uh, so I just take you through the location why we chose this location because if you look at in Bangalore, okay. it's all crowded okay. all the time, and then when we look at the Bangalore, most of IT people are staying here, and Bangalore is known for multicultural people. All right, all the from all parts of India and outside India, people come to Bangalore okay. because the infrastructure is so better, and then getting better day by day. That is why they would love to stay in Bangalore because of the weather, because of the infrastructure, or because of the amenities what Bangalore has currently now. So Navin, I have been traveling into Bangalore yes. and I have seen the weather is just awesome. Mm -hmm. It's very pleasant. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, it's either it's raining or it's cozy. Yes. It's not hot at yes. all. But when you talk about infrastructure, the infrastructure is getting developed here. I exactly. can see metro pillars are getting constructed. Exactly. The highways are getting constructed. Exactly. But I also see a traffic jam. During non-peak hours, it's fine. But during peak hours, it's traffic here. I told you. How this this location will help the buyers to get connectivity to various locations without 
uh, getting into these traffic jams. I totally agree with you, Prakash. Because of the traffic and the infrastructure is getting better day by day. That is why we chose this location. Why? Okay. Because if you look at surrounding places from right. Panatu, where we are currently, okay. From here, it is easy access to Whitefield, and then easy access to Outer Ring Road, and then easy access to Sarjapur Road as well. Okay. Why I am mentioning only these parts of Bangalore because most of the IT tech parks are in Outer Ring Road. From Bellandu, uh, from Iblu Junction to Hebal, or Whitefield ITPL, all the tech parks are or Sarjapur. Okay. So when we when we talk about Panandu, we are surrounded by all IT parks. It takes 30 minutes to reach any parts of IT parks. Even you whether you talk about Whitefield ITPL or whether you talk about Outer Ring Road or Sarjapur. Road. It takes 30 minutes from this place. That is why Shobha chose this location to come up with a landmark project in this locality. So, your target audience for this particular project, who are the home buyers in this particular project? See, are they IT people or they are different uh, walks of life? It's all mixed crowd. Okay. But since we are here, 75 percent or 70 to 80 percent, we get crowd from IT parks, and then rest of the people are from doctors or. Business people, all right. We get from all the uh, target audience. Okay. So apart from IT park, what are the connectivity? Uh, are there any new connectivity proposed to this location, or uh, all the existing connectivity is already there? What about the water connection here? What about the electricity connection here in this area? Right. I'll I'll talk about all of those points in terms of the customer. Why the customer has to come to this place, and then it, it, is it livable? Okay, and in condition, and if you talk about this locality and the connectivity wise, currently if I talk about, or to be frank, it's not great. Okay. So, but three years down the line, and maximum, I think I could say two years down the line, this locality is going to go up. Okay. Like anything, so the connectivity wise, if I have to talk about Panatu Road, which is getting widened, we can see uh, as you come in. Yeah, I saw a couple of water. Have you seen that? So a lot of winding works are going on, which is connecting between Watu Road and Outer Ring Road. Okay. That is Kadubis Nahali. From our project, just 4.4 kilometers to Kadubis Nahali flyover, and to go to Whitefield Kundanali Gate is just 3.6 kilometers from our project. Okay. And if I have to talk about Wells Fargo, there is one particular road which is getting developed now, which is in progress, almost done. Okay. Which is next, right next to New Horizon College or the Wells Fargo, which is getting connected to Gunjur Road. The connectivity wise, it takes Kadubis Nahali flyover. Okay. It takes 4.4 kilometers, and Kundanali Gate to go to Whitefield, it takes 3.6 kilometers from our project. Okay. And Sarjapur Road is hardly 6 kilometers from our project. So I'll take you to the next slide where I will show you where exactly the how far and what is the access road. So we can see it in the next slide. So you mean to say we'll see the Google location? Google location. We have one. Uh, I made a presentation. All right. The next slide. I can show you how the accessibility. Okay. Let's to move to the next screen then. This is what I was talking about in our previous slide. The Shoba Center. So we are here currently. Okay. And it takes 4.4 kilometers from Watu Main Road to Kadubis Nahali flyover. Okay. Outer Ring Road. And from Kundanali Gate to Sarjapur Road, it hardly. Eight to nine kilometers approximately. Okay. Thirty minutes drive, and in any parts of Bangalore, like if you, if you talk about Whitefield, thirty minutes, and Outer Ring Road, thirty minutes, and Sarjapur Road, thirty minutes. Okay. We are centrally located. If you talk about any educational institutions, international schools, okay, and hospitals, entertainment zones. Right. All are close by six kilometers radius. You will see all the developments. So, if my house is here within. Yes. Uh, 25 to 30 minutes. I'll be able to reach these places. Exactly. Whether be it offices, be it uh, hospital, True. be it any entertainment zone, yes. or be it schools. Yes, that is what I was. These things about. are already there. Already there, and it takes 30 minutes to reach this any parts of Bangalore or any parts of entertainment zones or the international schools or the hospitals. So you told me about the uh, places here. Yes. What about the connectivity to metro? What about the connectivity to airport? What about the connectivity to railway station? The metro is coming on Outer Ring Road from Silkport to Kerpuram. Okay. Which is already getting developed. Another two years, we'll see the metro operational. Okay. And it takes hardly 15 to 20 minutes to reach metro station. All right. And if we talk about uh, airport, East Gate Airport is already open. 
Okay. So to Owl Madras Road or Budigere Cross, you can reach airport in 45 to 50 minutes. All right. From this project. And if we talk about railway station, we have close by Karmalran railway station and the majestic early takes 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. Now we know about the connectivity and what all uh, amenities are nearby, mm -hmm. uh, where are the offices and all. Mm -hmm. So this is the layout plan. I want you to explain the entire layout plan with what all amenities would be there. I, I can see there are many numberings like yes. from number one, number two till yes. Yes. up to lighting 2025 20, numbers are there mm -hmm. in this layout plan. What are these numberings? What all features are there? And why Santosa? Matlab, how this is Santosa? I'll just take you through the complete project details. Before I get into that, okay. I would like to take you through the theme of the project. Okay. Why we are we named this project as Shoba Sentosa. Alright. So Shoba, as you are aware, we are in the market for the last 27 years okay. and we have been completing projects with the quality standards and we are known for the quality. Right. And all this while we are coming up with the typical elevations and typical uh, amenities as per like whatever we have been doing all this year. Right. The recent past, we started coming up, coming up with the theme based projects like Rajasthani theme based Shobha Royal Pavilion okay. and British architecture Shobha Windsor okay. and uh, Australian architecture Shobha Victoria Park. All right. And here we decided to come up with Singapore theme based. There is one more project of yours which is I think Town Park. Town Park, that's a New York uh, style. Right. I'm sorry. So that is New York and this is Singapore based. Exactly. Okay. Why we are bringing in this, all these concepts, theme based projects? Because people are would love to stay in the international environments. Okay. Because they've been traveling to all the MNCs and all the uh, abroad and they are used to that kind of culture and uh, the cleanliness and the way the projects are developed in abroad. So they wanted to stay in that kind of environment and the same theme of the project. So that you mean to say that uh, people who are working in Bangalore, yes. uh, basically the IT guys yes. who work in Bangalore and I have seen that after a couple of years they move abroad exactly. and then they uh, either they come back or they don't come back. If exactly. they come back, they miss the amenities and features of the exactly. places which are there in abroad. Exactly. So you're trying to create an international environment within the city? We are within trying the project. to recreate the international experience in Bangalore itself. Okay. So that is why we started coming up with the British architecture and Australian, New York and Singapore team based. So, but when we talk about India, the first thing comes to me is regular pollution, regular noise and all. Exactly. But when I visit good countries in abroad, I see it's pollution free, True. it's uh, noise pollution free, entire yes. thing is very neat and tidy, construction yes. quality is very good. So how will you match to those levels? I'm sure India is transforming to the next level going forward and okay. definitely we will overcome that and then traffic and then people also has to support our India will reach that stage for sure. Great. And now we decided to come within the project what we can do and within our limits. Okay. So we decided to come up with Shobha Sentosa Singapore theme based project All and right. we are trying to recreate whatever the landmarks in Singapore we are trying to create recreate over here in Bangalore itself at Panadur Road. Okay. Yeah, our architects have decided to come up with team based projects okay. with a world class elevation okay. and the international amenities. All right. And people would love to stay in this kind of complex. Not only people means the elderly people, they have all the features within the project and the kids, they have children's play area and, uh, and the butterfly park and the walking, jogging tracks and cycling tracks, we are going to give it and the gym. And we have clubhouse, 25,000 square feet clubhouse within the project. So the clubhouse, the gym, the walking track, these are available on almost all the projects. Yes. How this project is different, how Santosa is different from any other project. So first of all, theme based, what I'm talking about. When you enter, the, at the entrance itself, you will mesmerize with the kind of super trees, what we are going to come up, super tree groves and the Broadway walks. Okay. Then as soon as, as soon as you enter the project over here, this is going to be the main entrance of the project. All right. And here, as soon as you enter, you will not find the apartments immediately. Okay. 300 meters, you have a, the driveway, which is filled with the super tree groves and the Broadway walks. All right. So as soon as you enter, there is a ramp down over here for the vehicles, and the ramp up over here. Okay. And this is how the entire project is a 6.5 acres of land area. All right. We have 533 apartments in total with G plus 17 stories. 
So this project is entirely RERA registered. Every approval is there. RERA is approved and uh, government approvals, BDA, BBMP, all the approvals are in place. And there is no litigation in the land? No, not at all. We launched the project with all the approvals in place. Okay. We don't come to the public without any approvals. So all the pro- approvals are in place. The banks are already funding this project. The banks are financing the home loans. Yes. Enough. All banks are approved, including SBI is approved. Okay, great. Yes. So let's move ahead. Yes. So 6.5 acres of land area, as I was saying, 533 units, G plus 17 stories. Okay. With seven wings. All right. Starting from here, wing one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And seventh wing is over here. This is called as presidential tower. Okay. We call it as. And here it's a combination of one BHK and three BHK. So only one BHK and three BHK. There is no two BHK. No two BHKs at all. Okay. So even three BHKs we are coming up with. 1507 square feet and 1804 square feet. Okay. Two dimensions. Right. 1507 is the compact uh, three, by three BHK with all the basic features of living, dining, kitchen, utility, and one balcony and three bedrooms and three toilets. Okay. And we have 1804 square feet where we, we have extra one balcony and a home office. Okay. So now we have gone through the layout plan. I have understood ki kahan pe kaun sa tower hoga. Where will be tower number one? Yes. Where will be wing one? And then where will be wing seven? Can entry exit hogi. But I want you to explain all the amenities. I can see 24 amenities are there. Of course. Mentioned here. But I know there will be more than 24 amenities. Ye to basically moda moti yes. jo aapne mentioned yes. kya wo hai. But iske lava bhi bahut kuch hoga side pe. So I want to know about all the amenities which are there. As we have spoken about Singapore theme based and Singapore is synonymous of everything modern. Okay. So this project features Singapore inspired amenities. I'll just take you to each and every amenity what we had what we are giving it giving over here. Okay. So as soon as you enter you have the entrance plaza, the grand entrance what we are going to create. Okay. And as soon as you enter, you will find super tree groves. All right. And it gives you the uh, shade in the during the daytime and in the night time it gives you light. So you mean to say that when anybody would enter in the project, the first impression would be that you are walking inside a nature. Exactly. All right. As soon as you enter, you see the modern amenities and that too, you will see, you will see Singapore amenities, inspired amenities. So you get a feel and gist of being you get the feel of Singapore. inside the Singapore. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And interesting. So super big groves and after that on your right, you will see uh, jogging tracks okay. and the broad box. Okay. So it gives you a lot of space from the compound wall where people can do a lot of jogging and cycling also and the Broadway walks. Okay. And uh, as soon as you come over here, the, these are the dry ramp downs in the ramp up. Okay. And the vehicle goes inside to the basement and okay. then come out from here. Okay. And you have e- Moonlight Theatre. The next one is uh, the jogging track, broad walks, visitor car parkings, gazebo decks. Okay. And we have Moonlight Theatre. So what is Moonlight Theatre? Moonlight Theatre, it is not a, it is like an amphitheatre. Alright. But you are gonna have a projector where you can perform videos in the evening times. The like open theatre kind of thing. So it's kind of an amphitheatre where kids can come and play. They play can, and perform uh, their performances. performances, yes. Okay, alright. And uh, Moonlight Theatre event corner over here. So any events can happen like even Independence Day or Independence Celebrations or any festivals. So is it only the public events uh, gathering is there in the events corner or let's assume that I have my daughter's birthday and I want to celebrate my daughter's birthday. Only public uh, events can happen over here. The parties can happen in the clubhouse. You have multi-purpose halls over there. Okay, I got your point. Yes. And uh, the happiness club, this is what the happiness club. Why the name is the happiness club? So the happiness club, here we have multi-purpose hall. Okay. And crèche, and then you have a gym. All right. And you have these are actually the open multi-purpose hall is also there okay. on the terrace. You have party hall on the terrace. So this is ground floor. How many floors? Ground plus two. Ground plus two. Ground plus, plus, plus two. terrace. No, ground plus two and the terrace. Okay. All right. On the and on the terrace we have party hall as well. Open party hall. It's open to sky. Open, open to sky. Okay. And you have multi-purpose hall where you get closed space. Okay. The air condition. All right. Yes. So, and what are other amenities are? What is the size of this clubhouse? Twenty-five thousand square feet clubhouse we have, and we have multi-purpose hall, gym, and all the uh, sauna, uh, clinic, and uh, crash 
Pool right. table will be there, billiard, square table will be there. Yeah, these are the standard amenities. So all the standard amenities which are mostly in the Shoha projects are the Shoha projects. Yes. Those features would be here. For sure. Alright. So all the standard amenities are going to be there. Apart from that, we are giving an advanced feature over here in the clubhouse. Okay. Thinking work from home people, they don't have to sit at home all the time. They can come to the clubhouse and you have all the desks and then workstations and everything. You can start working from the clubhouse itself. So tell me one thing, when somebody talks about the co-working space, first thing that gets into my mind is mm -hmm. that who will pay the money for the time I will spend at the co-working space. So do the uh, residents who are staying here, when they use the co-working space, do they have to pay anything extra? Or so is that part association of the will uh, design the uh, pay, pay structure. Okay. So how will they want to take it forward? Because clubhouse belongs to them. They are so till the, the 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 time Shoha would maintain this property? Yes. Will Shoha charge them? No, they just have to pre-book it. Okay. They just have to pre-book so the they table. they have to book their slot. Exactly. Team by this exactly. like I want to use. Exactly. Somebody else might want so to use. They just have table. to pre-book it and then take it forward. All right. Here is the orchard way, and we have Merlin pool. Okay. And then you have a Merlin statue, statue, yeah. and then it's actually Singapore inspired. Statue. So like the Merlin statue in Singapore. Yes. There's water coming out from the mouth of the Merlin. Exactly. So exactly. Uh, same thing would be there. A same thing. Of... We we are recreating it over here next to the pool. Okay. And the water of fountain will come from the uh, Merlin statue. All right. So I understood the pool, yeah. which I just saw in the uh, images. Yes. It's an adult pool or there will be a kids pool also? There is an adult pool and there is a kids pool as well. So that problem is already there? Exactly. Okay. The after pool we go to scaling rink. We are giving scaling rink as well over okay. here. And we have uh, Fortune Plaza. Okay. And we have Fountain of Wealth as well. So what is Fortune Plaza? Fortune Plaza where we are giving it a place people where people can sit and exchange their ideas. Alright. And that's, we are leaving it as Fortune of Fortune so Plaza. Kind of a Co-working or a no. get-together place? Get-together place. Okay. The okay. co-working space we are giving inside the clubhouse. So, but somebody wants to work there, they can go and work there. Open their laptop and they can work there. Okay. Anywhere. We are giving all from the courtyard or from uh, Fortune Plaza. Okay. Anywhere people can sit and start working in the evening times. Okay. And here we are giving uh, one more of Fountain of Wealth. It's fountain. It is inspired by Singapore, uh, the main fountain, right, right next to the airport. Okay. So we are coming up with the fountain of value. It is considered very lucky. Yeah. Very lucky. We are actually we are considering it for the project okay. also. So you have a miniature version of fountain miniature of miniature of version of fountain of wealth. Okay. And the next feature is going to be Marina Bay Sands Kids Play Area. Here we are creating a Marina Bay Sands structure miniature for the kids. So the kids play area is going to be similar to Marina Bay Sands. Okay. So here we are creating. It is not a not typical play area. What other other projects uh, have got here we are going to have climbing walls, sand pits, tunnel play area and on top also like people can sit and then enjoy so this is going to be completely different amenity and then kids also will enjoy the kind of structure what we are creating so the kids who are staying in this project yeah Santosa yes or once they go or move to Singapore yeah or probably traveling for studies or whatever reason it can be they'll be very they'll be able to resonate with Singapore and the uh, good places over there or the tourist places or the exactly. interesting places over there. They won't be amazed after going to Singapore because already they have experienced all the amenities in Shoba Center. They say, I'm Singapore, I come to the house. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So here we have courtyard for the entire building. There's going to be like an entrance lounge okay. for the entire building. All right. In the first court, here we are giving the mini football court. Okay. We are creating and then giving it. And people would love to play outdoor games now. We are creating a lot of outdoor games and to get the kids out, out of home and outside of, uh, out of uh, uh, electronic gadgets. All right. So there will be creating a mini football court here and there's mini basketball court. Okay. So it's an actual basketball court. The full basketball court, what we are going to give it here. All right. Football court, basketball court. And we have uh, outdoor fitness park. Okay. We are creating and then not only the indoor gym. And we have outdoor fitness park. So anybody who is not interested in going to gym, yes. they can do, they can do skipping track. and they can do jogging, they can do outdoor activities, activities yoga. So, yes, yoga, meditation can be done over here All right. in fitness park. Okay. And here we give the pet park as well. People are more fond of pets now, and but in uh, some of the societies, they don't allow pets to roam around in the project. 
So, but here we are giving a dedicated space for the pets. So, pet owner can come and unleash their pets. Exactly, here. exactly. This space is only for that purpose. All right. Yes. We are giving little away from the residence also. Then that is actually okay. the only disturbances for the residence. Okay. And organic farming plots over here. If you see the entire project. So this is a one more additional advanced feature what we are giving over here. This is an organic farming plots. Here the independent plots will be there and they can, where they can lease it out or they can give it to the society people itself and for rental purpose they can cultivate the vegetables and then leafy vegetables and everything and they can give it in the supermarket okay. within the product itself. That will give an additional income again. So the residents can come and uh, get the child uh, first hand experience of uh, planting and organic exactly. and exactly. Exactly. grow. Yes. People are more passionate about terrace gardens these days. That is the reason we are giving organic farming plots within the project itself. Okay. So they can grow here also or they can use their uh, exactly. uh, balconies as a terrace garden. or UTD space they can utilize. Okay. And uh, botanical garden, this space is going to be like a complete field with the trees. And we are giving a botanical garden where you will not miss Lal Bagh or Kaban Park or something like that. So when you step out of your apartment, you will find a lot of greenery over here. So a lot of uh, plantation will be done. This is the botanical garden. Okay. Creating. Then after that, interesting fact over here, this is Reflexology Trail and Seniors Gazebo. The Seniors Gazebos are not there. This is going to be more assisted space. Okay. for the senior citizens. Okay. So here the reflexology, the path, what we are going to have all right. here and the gazebos where senior citizens can sit and relax or do yoga meditation. What is reflexology trial? Reflexology, reflexology, reflexology trial is nothing but just to for doing a meditation. Uh, when you're doing a meditation, the kind of table and uh, the stones, what you, when you walk on the stones, the blood circulation will be much better. So those kind of setups, we are going to give it over here. So it's a way of natural, naturally healing yourself. Natural therapies, what we are giving within the project, okay. right next to the tropical uh, garden. All right. The next amenity is cricket pitch. Cricket pitch we are giving you over here. So okay. with all these amenities, these are only few amenities we name over here in the brochure. But there are so many other features within the project. When you enter the project, you will enjoy not only the apartment quality apartment, what you're going to get, but you get all these amenities and which is developed, it's like with a passion. Okay. What is this uh, this white patch in this entire layout plan? This patch? Yeah. Uh, will there be a high rise building here? Uh, well, we are not sure because here if you look at it, there are independent plots. Okay. Which is already there and completely sold out and marked. Alright. And here if you look at it, there is a farming land or All a right. small land parcel. And the kind of access road what they have as per the flow rate ratio, they may not come up with high rise apartments. All right. They may come up with G plus one or G plus two maximum. Okay. But there are setbacks maintained from the compound wall to the building. And at the same time, even if they come up also, they have to maintain their setbacks. setbacks. Okay. I have understood the entire project. Okay. I have understood the amenities and all. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to understand, have you taken care of the direction of sun while making this layout? How you would take care that each and every house would get ample sunlight? That's a good question, Prakar. So here, if you look at the entire project, you have, you look at 7th wing, it's completely independent tower. Right. So you, here you have complete cross ventilation and light, well maintained for all the houses. There are four houses in, in the floor. Okay. So sunlight and ventilation is well maintained over here. Even this particular building, if you see, the privacy is maintained, the balconies or windows will not overlook another apartment. None of the towers, balconies are overlooking to other towers? Not at all. So you look at this complete tower, all the windows either face this side or this side. Great. So people living in top floor or middle floor, yes, they can keep their windows open permanently. Windows open permanently. The privacy curtains, curtains are not required. Curtains, you can keep no, it, no. but you can keep it open so that right. you'll have a lot of privacy for all the rooms. Right. So they can have a sip at their yes. bathroom. Exactly, exactly. Bar exactly. Right. That is the main agenda. Since we got a very good land parcel, we are trying to create these kind of apartments and where people have will have a lot of privacy and a lot of sunlight. Okay. And ventilation. Okay. So you told me that there will be two ramps here. Yes. I can see there are a couple of ramps at the end also. There is one more ramp over here. This ramp is used for this particular building to go in and out. Alright. 
So entry and exit is going to be over here. All right. So whatever you are seeing a ramp down and ramp up is for the wind channel. Okay. And this particular ramp up and ramp down is for the entire block. Okay. So the so since the, we have car parks in the basements, two basements, we have all the residents has to go to the basement and park their vehicles. So all the basements are interconnected. Interconnected. So when we talk about parking, my parking would be beneath my tower, beneath the tanks. So you will get it beneath your tower, your car park. Stop. So Naveen ji, we have gone through the entire master layout plan yes. of the project. Yes. It looks very really lucrative and I am sure that you will be able to make a replica of uh, Mini Singapore here. Yes. In this project, yes. especially Santosa. Yes. And the artifacts which I have seen there, it would be a replica of those things only. Mm -hmm. So yes. now moving into the uh, apartments and what are the apartment size? I can see uh, one BHK apartment size uh, PPT is opened here. Yes. But what are the apartment size? You told me that. Uh, two or three types of uh, apartment size uh, which are there in the project. Yes, I'll just take you through all the dimensions what we have over here. In, out of 533 units, we have one BHK, 680 square feet. Okay. And out of seven wings, as I mentioned, seven wings in total okay. in this particular project, out of seven wings, one particular tower, exclusively we are coming up with one BHK. So you have dedicated that tower to Dedicated one that particular fourth wing, wing four is dedicated completely for one BHK. Okay. So out of seven wings. So currently we launched wing seven, wing six, wing five and wing four. Okay. We are yet to launch third wing and second wing and the first wing or we will launch it later at the higher rate. Okay. So currently wing one, wing four is also open. Which is which has got one BHK. All right. So one BHK six eighty square feet. We are coming up with super built up area. Okay. And the carpet area is going to be four hundred and thirty two square feet, excluding balcony. All right. So as per data, we are not supposed to include balcony space in the carpet area. Yeah. So what is the size of this balcony, Naveenji? So eleven point five by five point nine. So eleven point five feet is yes. the length of the balcony. Length of the balcony. And width of the balcony is 5.9. I've seen these kind of balconies. The size, the size of this balcony is equivalent to a 3 BHK size or a bigger apartment size. Similar one. Okay. It's only the space it get constrained. Right? It's a constraint within the apartment. All right. It's a 680 square feet. We are actually we are trying to accommodate living room and kitchen, bigger kitchen. Okay. And the one bedroom, one one attached to it. All right. And apart from that, there's a balcony as well. Okay. So who are the target audience who are buying one BHK here? Because I can see all the other towers are three exactly. BHK. Exactly. So there is a, a specific reason for this. Whoever is going to purchase 1500 in this area, okay. uh, considering all the IT parks and the current family, maybe somewhere around three people or four people. In future, if their parents comes in, if their parents wants to stay within the bar itself, and this is the apartment where they can purchase it now itself, and then they can give it out for parents or the guests or the kids or the work from home uh, purpose. All right. Uh, they can also rent it out. Probably. They can rent it out because this is one independent one BHK where you're gonna get car park, dedicated car park for this and uh, separate membership, club membership also. Okay. So this. what is the current market rate of one BHK in this area? The projects, your project is already, one of your project is already completed in this area. Yes. What is the current market rental of your one BHK over here? Plus what kind of rentals you would uh, expect once this project is completed for this one BHK? So here when you see, uh, we have 680 square feet, but recently we completed Shobha Dreammakers right next to our Shobha Center. Okay. Sir. And where uh, 5,000 apartments are already there, which is a combination of one BHK and two BHK. I have covered that project as Yes, one BHK. Uh, the current renters going on over here are 25,000 to 30,000 including maintenance. Okay. So I'm talking about today and which is a budgeted apartment. I'm okay. talking about Shoba Sendosa, which is super luxury project, okay. having all these world class amenities and three years down the line, if I talk about the rental, definitely you can expect 30 to 40 percent hike from the current rent what people are getting currently in three months. Okay. So since you talked about rental and the appreciation yes. in the yes. rental value, yes. I also want to know that in the Dreammakers project, what was the price at which one BHK was purchased and what is the current ongoing price there? The price currently uh, 750 square feet is going around somewhere around 65 lakhs, all inclusive. When I say all inclusive, it includes land, construction, car park, clubhouse, all the amenities and the maintenance deposit. Okay. And at what price they would have purchased this apartment? 
uh, five years back or six years back, we lost this project. We they would they would have purchased it forty lakhs. Okay. Yes. So this was the appreciation which they got. Yeah, they got decent appreciation in this particular project. And if I ask about what could be the price appreciation uh, in this project of Santosa for, for sure, you can we can expect thirty to forty percent high in three years down the line. Now once the connectivity is done, the uh, kind of developments what we had spoken earlier. Right. I think once these developments are done, we can expect much more appreciation what people are getting in today. Okay. So I think at that point of time there would be no towers or there would be no apartments which are. I am sure within one year we will be selling this complete project the way we sold Shoba Windsor in Whitefield in eleven months completely sold out. Okay. And similarly we would be selling this uh, I think clear stock will be clear in right. one year's time. Okay. So we have seen one BHK now we will see two BHK. I mean three three BHK we have combinations over here one BHK. And three BHKs. Okay. Three BHKs. We have different dimensions and two dimensions. We have one is fifteen zero seven, okay. and the one is eighteen zero four. All right. So we can go to the next slide. Okay. So here we have fifteen zero seven square feet in okay. a wing. There are four apartments in a floor. Two apartments are fifteen zero seven. Okay. Another two apartments are eighteen zero four. All right. So here we have fifteen zero seven super built up area. Okay. The carpet area is going to be. One thousand ten square feet, which is excluding the balcony area. All right. So I'll just take you through the floor plan. As soon as you enter, there's a foyer, living room, and balcony for the living room with the French windows. All right. There's a separate dining. You have separate living and separate dining over here, and there's a kitchen and utility. Okay. There's a separate utility over here where you will have cross ventilation and the enough sunlight to the kitchen. Okay. Over here we have one common bedroom. And there's a common toilet. All right. And there's one bedroom with a dash toilet. There's another bedroom with a dash toilet. All right. Two bedrooms has got a dash toilet, and there's one common bedroom and common toilet. Okay. So this is how the fifteen zero seven. The space is well utilized inside the park. So Navin, tell me something. Uh, yeah. When in a floor there are four apartments. Yes. When you open a door, mm -hmm. do you oversee the entire flat of the सामने वाला या नेबर? That's a great, a great advantage over here. Okay. So as soon as you open the door, you have a foyer here. All right. Directly you face to the wall, not the entire house. If anyone comes and stands here at the main door, okay, they will not be able to see the entire house. There's so, only foyer. So if I open my door, yes, and my neighbor's door is also open. Open. So I won't be able to peep in inside there. Not at all. Nobody can see. Absolutely. There's only foyer. People can see. Even you will not be able to see peep in into the other apartment. Great. So that's a great advantage when you open the door and there's a privacy also. So these things are already taken care of. Already taken care in all the apartments, whether it is eighteen hundred or fifteen hundred. Okay. And since I see there are balconies there, yes. So the balconies would have toughened glasses, you know? There are soundproof glasses. Okay. And in the balcony or in the windows. All right. You have toughened glasses. Okay. Yes. So that the sound protection uh, when you close the window or the balcony area, you will not be able to hear the sound at all. Okay. So what are the room sizes here, and what are what is the balcony size? So here we have decent sizes. With since it is a fifteen zero seven, we would like to maintain enough space and utilize the entire space within the house. Okay. So here we are giving decent living space and dining space, and we are we are giving ten and a half by twelve and a half. Bedroom sizes, all right. Average, okay. So, which will help you? Then, where you have, can have a queen size or king size bed also, you will have a enough movement within the bed. All right, okay. So here you can see the living room, ten and a half by seventeen point eight feet, feet. All right, yes. And balcony, ten and a half by four point eight feet. Okay, over here, and the dining space eight point nine by ten point six. I think that balcony is easily uh, like, since the size is so big. Yes, one can have a terrace garden there. Exactly, this is as big as the living room. It's actually it is going this direction. Okay, so we you can have a terrace garden or the some of the uh, chair and one table and two chairs. You can have it. Okay, the evening snack or morning tea. We're gonna have enough space over there. Right. Here is a common bedroom and a common toilet. The toilets dimensions are same across. Okay. So here you have four point one one by seven point one zero feet. Okay. So this is enough movement, and you have a sink and a commode, and there is a wash area. 
the shower shower area okay so this is they cross all the toilets this is going to be this space all right so what is the size of other bedrooms and the other bedrooms we have 10.8 by 11.6 okay over here with a dash toilet there is one more bedroom 10.11 almost 11 by 12.4 okay with a dash toilet all right and so you can convert either this bedroom or the other bedroom as master bedroom as the dash toilet is both designed both has got a dash toilet all right and then there is a dining area also a yes, separate living and separate dining so okay. this is well maintained so what is the size of living area and dining area Living area we have got 10.6 by 17.8. Okay. And here dining area 8.9 by 10.6 feet. Yes, feet. All right. So this is the layout which we have seen is of small. And here is the kitchen and you need the kitchen also. Yeah, what is the size of kitchen? Kitchen 8 by 8.4. It's only carpet area we are talking about. Okay. So after plus the utility part. Uh, and you have the utility part. 5 by 6.6. 5 by 6. 6. Okay. All right. Is the smaller size of 3 BHK? Smaller size of 3 BHK, which is 1507 square feet. Okay. Now, what and about we have 1804? The next slide we can go. Here is 1804 square feet, super built up area. And the carpet area is going to be 1180 square feet. Okay. Carpet area, excluding two balconies. Okay. Here we have got two balconies. And I'll just take you through uh, the floor plan. As soon as you kitchen also has a balcony, right? So it would be utility. Ideally, utility, utility balcony would yes. be there. So ideally three balconies, including the utility balcony. Uh, we can say that, but yeah. two balconies and one utility, I would say. All right. Let us zoom this picture. Yes. So here is the main entrance. We have foyer, 4.11 by 4.9. Again, so privacy issues are taken privacy care Privacy issues are taken care of over here. And as soon as you enter, if any paper boy, milk boy stands here, they will not be able to see the entire house. It's really? only the foyer. Okay. And after the foyer, you have living room, when balcony for the living room, dining room, kitchen and utility. Okay. And here is a one bedroom with a nice toilet, common bedroom or kids room, we can convert it as. Right. And there is one more bedroom, common bedroom, common toilet. Okay. But here we have separate space. We have designed and we have kept it as home office or study. You can convert it as one of the bedroom or home office or study. All right. So as per your taste, you can convert it. When you have extra space, you can design it. It as can be a family as. lounge. Family, family lounge or home theater. You can convert it as however you want. Okay. And there is one more bedroom, master bedroom with a dash toilet and one more balcony for the master bedroom. Okay. So what are the sizes? Sizes, if we talk about the living room, 11.3 by 17.10, almost 18 by 11.3. Okay. And we have dining room 9.10 by 10.8 feet. Okay. So almost 10 by 10.8, almost 11. All right. And you have kitchen 8.8 .8 by 10.4 okay. feet. And uh, there's a utility 4.11 by, there's a standard size, what you're going to get is 4.11 by 7.10. All right. And here is one bedroom, 10.6 by 11.6, 10 and a half by 11 and a half okay. feet. And here is one common toilet. There is master bedroom, 11.3 by 12.11, almost 13 by 11.3. Alright. Excluding the balcony and excluding the foyer. Okay. So what is the size of balcony? Balcony you have 11.3 by 3.7. Okay. Width wise 3.7 and the length is 11.3. Alright. Yes. So the, the balconies are fair enough for a terrace garden here also. Yes. Even great thing over here is we have two balconies and one utility. You can utilize terrace garden, the living room balcony or the master bedroom balcony. Okay. So now we have seen one BHK layout. We have seen uh, 1507 3 BHK and 1804 3 BHK. So now that we have seen all the layouts plans yes. Yes. for one BHK and three BHK, mm -hmm. can we go to the actual site location and see what work is happening at the site? You told me that work is going on at site. There are laborers who are working, and yes. some towers work have already started. Yes. So I would want key what what kind of work is going on. I would and for which tower I would like to see that. I would like to take you to the site and then we can see the actual construction itself. So now that we have seen one BHK and the three BHK layouts, yes, I want to see the external facade. Though you have shown those external facade. Yes. But yeah, you haven't explained it in detail. So I'll just take you through the elevation and uh, okay. our architects have given amazing elevations over here. This is the external elevation and this is how it looks. It looks amazing. And you have second floor and seventh floor and 13th floor, you have gardens. Okay. On the terrace also you have garden to increase the greenery in the project. 
and increase the air quality as well. So we have taken care of the greenery in the garden area exactly. also exactly. and the floors also. Exactly. Eighty-five percent is the open space if okay. you count the ground level. Okay. The construction area is only fifteen percent since these are vertical towers. Okay. And at the surface, that place is the swimming pool, right? Yeah, there is a pool, Merlin statue. Okay. We have it over here. There is a pool and other amenities. What we have spoken, uh, spoken. We we'll just, I'll take you through the other amenities. All right. Well. Yeah. This is a night view of uh, seventh wing. Okay, it's an independent tower. Okay. This is the view from the clubhouse. It looks beautiful and stunning. Okay. And uh, this is a night view. Ah, so that one was day view, and this the is day view, view, and uh, this is one. This is the night view. Okay. And the uh, children's play area. Okay. The clubhouse is twenty-five thousand square feet clubhouse. And here on top we have open party hall, and inside we have multi-purpose hall as well. All right. And other amenities. And this is how it looks. Great. What is this? This is a fountain of wealth. We had already discussed about right. the fountain right. of wealth. The structure, miniature, is going to be here. Okay. And uh, so this is going to be this is going to look amazing when it is ready. So near this fountain of wealth, yes. do we have sitting areas also for seniors? Right next person? to the fountain of wealth, we have Fortune Plaza as well. Okay. Where people can sit around and then they can exchange their ideas, then have fun all day. Right. And this is how the children's play area looks like, Marina Bay Sands. Okay, so this is the area where the kids will play. Exactly. I think they're gonna enjoy. They have ground floor also for playing. Exactly. And we have a uh, climbing wall, and then tunnel play area, sand pits, and then all these play areas. All so right. people, will, kids will love. I can see there are two levels here: ground yes. floor, and then there is first floor also. Yes. So kids who would play on the first floor, how yes. you have taken care of the safety? So on the first floor, you can see the railing over here. Okay. These are vertical railings what we are giving. Okay. And kids will not be able to climb up, and the height of the railing also it is four and a half feet. It is going to be. All right. Yes. So uh, fair enough, yes. Anna. So so kids safety is also taken care exactly. of. Exactly. Okay. This is how. Merlin pool looks, and then water fountain is coming from Merlin statue. It's going to be amazing in the night time. I think when people will swim, they'll come here to take a bath and then they will go yes, back. Of course. <laughs> so this is the pool I can see. This is the different angle of the pool. Yeah. Where is kids pool here? There's a kids pool over here. Okay. And okay. there's the main pool. All right. Here is a repose and retreat. There's a gazebo over here. Okay. And we have there we have a place. Where people can sit and relax, you do yoga, meditation because you have a lot of greenery over here. Okay. A lot of trees surrounded by. Okay. The close to the nature and you have a pebble pathway also. Okay. So here we have super tree groves. So it looks amazing, right? Right. So as soon as you enter the project, okay. after coming from all the heavy traffic. Okay. So when you enter the project itself, you will you will find serene when you enter. As soon as you enter, right. on the left hand side, you are going to find super tree groves, similar to the structures what Singapore has it. So we are trying to create a mini version of super tree groves. So what I understand is, if I am walking somewhere in Bangalore and yes. I got while coming back to home, I got stuck in traffic. Yes. Or I had a bad day in yes. office. Yes. As soon as I enter my society, yes, you are trying to calm me down. Exactly. Soon. मतलब so you have now and tell me कि अच्छा अब आप अपने घर आ गए हो correct leave everything aside correct come inside your apartment be in the nature correct as soon as you enter also like you will not find the concrete structures immediately right. Right. you will find super tree groves and a lot of trees right right next to you and then you will enter the basement and then it gives you shade in the during the daytime and in the night time it gives you light all right So Navin ji, I have seen multiple projects of Shoha, mm -hmm. and what I have felt is mm -hmm. at the entrance itself, uh -huh. all the project is very different and very vibrant from each other. Yes. So you try to create a, a scene at the entrance only that ha, you have come here, and you give a look and feel that everything is outside. Leave tension outside. Now you are entering your society, you are entering your home. Yes. And this is the look and feel you get. Exactly. That is what we wanted to create and give you that uh, serene. Feeling and okay. then the project. Went All right. Out. So let's move ahead. Yes. This is how the moonlight theater looks like. So this is what your amphitheater, amphitheater, and the moonlight theater. In the night time, you can play videos where you can play. You can play with the projectors. Ah, so these projectors will be there. Projectors will not be there. You will have to fit it. The connections and everything will be given over there. And those things will be waterproof. Yes, waterproof. 
Great. Yes. So this is how the butterfly park look like okay. and where the structures and the kind of plantation what we do or right. our departments and it attracts a lot of butterflies. All right. So it looks amazing even the kids will enjoy. And so when you are planting those plants here which will have multiple flowers or different flowers and which exactly. butterfly would like and they'll come here. That is exactly what we are going to do over here Great. in this place. That is why we call it as butterfly park okay. where the structures will be there and even we want to attract the butterflies. And I can see lots of small lights are there. So here are the, some of the structures. It's going to be beautiful during the night time. Great. So now that we have seen all the amenities, we yeah. got to see all the uh, floor plans mm -hmm. and you have also explained the uh, look and feel of the various activities or the various uh, things would be there in the society. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the construction site. I want to know what is the construction stage going on for each tower. Yes. So let's go there at the site. I would love to show the construction site. Let's go to the construction site. All right. Yeah. So Navi, now since we know all the things about this project, you have explained it really very well. Yes. And I think people who would be watching this video, they would know it. But for the existing buyers who have already purchased the apartments here, yes. I want some kind of construction update also. What work is going on at site? So I want to capture those things also. Suddenly I'll take you to the actual site. Okay. But I just wanted to take you through the entire site. All right. Where we start and then where is the main entrance. Okay. And what you see Shobha over there, that is going to be the main entrance and exit. Okay. So that is the main entrance and entrance exit. Entrance and exit. And this is how the site goes. Okay. And here, as soon as you enter, you will not find the apartments immediately. Okay. You have 300 meters uh, driveway. Okay. With the super trees on the right. Okay. And then left hand side, the Broadway walks. All right. So here the site starts and then uh, our towers comes in later. Okay. So here the cars will go in the future. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to your site and find out what is going on at site. Now we are at actual site. ये क्या काम चल रहा है यहाँ पे? I can see कि प्लास्टिक डले हुए हैं ये सब क्या है? Exactly. This is seven wing seven. Okay. We have total seven wings in the project. All right. So we started the construction at wing seven, and that is what you see here. The so the excavation is done. Okay. Piling work is also done. So now they are going to start the construction now. All right. थोड़े और पास जाके देखें वहाँ से I think the visibility would be more. Sure. Okay. So what is the मतलब start date of this construction as in when the excavation had happened over here okay. we started in the month of june june 2022 we 2022, started we started the excavation so by when uh, or by which year do you think that the entire structure will be ready for this project see as per rera uh, the completion date is 2026 okay 2026 uh, november all right but uh, as you know shoba is backward integrated and the, the way we go uh, we do the construction right definitely it will be much earlier than the com uh, committed date okay so another 3 years you will see the construction and com get, getting completed in next 3 years next 3 years okay so in this tower which wing is which side so this is wing 7 complete wing 7 okay and wing, wing 7 may where is number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 number 1 starts from there one, two, okay, three, so that four. is that side is number one. That's one, two, two, three, four. three, and four. There are only four apartments in a floor. Okay, and two elevators. So currently, the work for the basement is going on. Foundation work is foundation going on. work yes. is going on. Yes. Okay. So foundation, then your basement will come up. The lower that, basement will come. Okay. And then after that, basement, ground floor. Okay. Then it goes on. So it's still minus two here. Minus two. Okay. All right. So this is wing number seven. Wing number so seven. So once somebody enters, yes. the first tower in the project would be wing number seven. Wing number seven. Okay. And what about the other wings? Other wings comes later. Okay. After the clubhouse. All right. So it starts from the uh, right hand side. One, two, three. And in the center we have fourth wing. Okay. Five, fifth, and sixth. Okay. Sixth. So where will be your clubhouse? Clubhouse right after the. So wing where seven. that crane is there. Right after that. Crane so ke baad. Crane ke baad. Okay. So you can see the tree over yes, there. Yes, yes. So over there. All right. So we can go there too and can we see what is going on for other we wings? Can go, we can go. So how many total wings were, were there? Wings, the total seven wings we have in the property. So you told about six wings. What about the seventh wing? Seventh wing is over here. Achha, seventh wing is over here. Okay. Naveen, I can see uh, there are blue sheets all across this entire thing. Yes. And now what are these? These are actually, as you know, this is the rainy season. Okay. So, while doing the construction, the whatever the excavation we have done it. Okay. It should not go back. All right. To the site. 
So just to avoid that, as you know, Shoba is environmental friendly. All right. And while doing construction, we take all the precautions. Okay. So that is the reason we are using all these sheets. And at the same time, you can see all the labors are wearing helmets. Yes, I I do not see any of the labors not having a helmet. Yes. So these are the precautions we take at the site while doing construction. Prakar, as you know, like blue sheets we have already seen. Yeah, I can see blue sheets all over the places. Yes. All over. So. Even I'll take you through in detail the whatever your blue sheets, that yeah. in with the iron rods, okay, with the cushioning. Why? Because we don't allow any accidents to happen at the site level. So you take care of all the all the minute all things, minute things, minute things we take care, and you can see there. Yeah. So there is iron rod tucked in through the blue blue sheet, right. and then with the cushioning. And this is all over, all over the site. Okay. You can see it over. Great. Very nice safety measure. And this is all done for the labors, so that they do Across not fall. Across all this time. the projects, we take care of all these uh, things. So, if you are taking care of all these small things at just in the, at the time of development of this project, I am sure this project will come up really very well, and you will be taking care of the minutest of exactly. the detail. Exactly. Great. That is why we are the best in all over India, and we are rated as number one in India. Great. For the quality. Great. I can see that. This is wing number seven. This is wing number and seven. And we were just opposite to this place. ठीक है, opposite side में थे and now and here is the clubhouse. So at this location there will be the clubhouse. Clubhouse. What is the size of the clubhouse? Twenty five thousand square feet. So it will have all the amenities which you explained. All the world class amenities we will have it, and then we have international standards like all the features what we are giving inside the clubhouse. Okay. So once we go from clubhouse side यहाँ से. Yes. So then your other land would come यहाँ पे. Yes, the other towers come uh, in. Okay. So, starts from wing one to six. All is in one. All line. right. So, अभी उसका काम शुरू नहीं हुआ है. या हो गया उसका काम भी शुरू. नहीं नहीं. We not yet started. We started for wing seven, wing six excavation. Okay. okay. Wing six excavation started. All right. So, wing number six में excavation has started. Yes. And wing number seven में piling work is going on. The basement work exactly. is going on. Foundation works are going. On. All right. ठीक है. हाउ डू अ कस्टमर नो कि प्रोजेक्ट में क्या क्या चल रहा है सो लेट्स अज्यूम दैट ये वीडियो में तो देल कम टू नो कि वॉट वर्क इज गोइंग ऑन एट वॉट साइड सो करेंटली वी स्टार्टेड विथ विंग सेवन इनिशियली देन वी स्टार्टेड विथ विंग सिक्स देन वी कम टू विंग फाइव देन इट गोस ऑन अप टू विंग वन ओके नो आई अंडरस्टूड दिस वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू आस्क इज इज देर अ पोर्टल और इज देर एनी वेबसाइट वेर इन दी कस्टमर कैन गो एव कस्टमर पोर्टल कस्टमर सी आर एम कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट वंस दर्क इज कम्प्लीटेड Okay. We'll upload the pictures every quarter in customer portal. Okay. So they have access website. regularly to this. Exactly. Yes. Great. Okay. So Navin ji, we have covered almost all the points. So whatever questions would come to me as a customer, as a home buyer, I have given those questions to you. I have put across those questions to you. Yes. And you have given all the answers to me. Still, do you think that we have left out some portion, or we have? I have not uh, been able to ask you those questions, or you want to well, add, add to those? I think uh, Prakar, we have covered all the points, and then we have uh, taken through the, all the site plan, master plan, construction site, and uh, all the amenities as well. Right. I think we have covered almost all the points. Okay. So, still while watching the video, if you think that anything is left or I have not able to ask Shobha or they have not informed those things, there is a number given below. You can call on this number, ask about anything. We'll get back to you on that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video and in case you find this video informative, do comment and let us know and do like the video and share with others. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Hind.